Five billion years ago, the Earth was nothing but molten rock and swirling gas. Not until maybe a billion years ago did the simplest plants appear. But it wasn't long before tiny animals appeared that ate the plants. And other animals came that ate them. Each living thing drawing life in some way from another. To survive, a species needed some advantage. It had to be bigger or have stronger jaws or swim faster or be better protected. Eventually, some sea creatures evolved an ability to breathe air. These were amphibians, able to live in water or on land. Soon the amphibians took over the world. But the amphibians' reign didn't last long. Over millions of years, another kind of creature evolved, the reptile. The first reptiles were meat eaters. There was so much vegetation that some reptiles appeared that ate plants instead of meat. Soon, four out of five reptiles were plant eaters. Life 250 million years ago was tough. Plant eaters had to find food every day, and they had to avoid the meat eaters. And the hunters had to kill or go hungry. Over tens of millions of years, so many different reptile species developed that we have still not discovered them all. They developed in ways adapted to their needs. Like having armor protection against attacks, or beaks to snap tough stems. Most of these different species survived only a relatively short time, but then a new species appeared that was tremendously successful the dinosaur. Very quickly they took over and they remained unquestioned rulers of the world for 150 million years longer than any species on Earth before or since. Mm -hmm. 
Although the first dinosaurs had been meat eaters, plant eaters came on the scene quickly. Those big plant eaters had a problem. A mouthful of leaves has much less food energy than a mouthful of meat. So the plant eaters had to take much bigger meals. They needed bigger bellies to store the food. They grew so big they had to go back to walking on four legs. Two legs could not hold them up. For size and weight, the early dinosaurs set records that have never been equaled. Plants grew fast too in that lush climate 100 million years ago. So even though the plant eaters needed enormous quantities to feed their huge bodies, they seldom worried about food. They worried about the hunting dinosaurs like the fierce Allosaurus. Back then, in order to escape the jaws of a hunter like Allosaurus, animals would run away or hide. or have some form of protection. The Allosaurus was king of the early dinosaurs. But he had no way to control the changes taking place in the world's climate. Conditions changed, and the dinosaurs that could not adapt died out. New flowering plants came, and new dinosaur breeds evolved that thrived on them. Soon, the world was full of dinosaurs again. smaller than the giants of the early dinosaur era. But there were more different types. Now the fierce Allosaurus was gone, but the plant eaters still lived in fear. For during that time, there existed the most ferocious animal that ever lived. Tyrannosaurus rex. During that time, there also lived the most successful armored dinosaur ever, Triceratops. The only animal that could kill a healthy Triceratops was Tyrannosaurus. And perhaps only Triceratops with its sharp horns and thick armor had a chance against Tyrannosaurus. Yet, even as they battled one another, Something else was happening against which neither could fight. The world's environment was changing again. No one knows if a drastic change of climate caused it, or whether some disease suddenly struck, or something else that we don't understand. But for whatever reason, about 60 million years ago, an age ended. The dynasty of the dinosaurs, the most impressive in the Earth's long history, came to a close.